Hi and welcome to how to use CAD. Quite a few people have asked me if it is possible to print directly from model space. Um, and of course it is, but you need to do a little work to set things up. Today's tutorial will show you how to set up model space so that you can print off anything you want directly from model space to a, as a PDF file or to a printer. So without further explanation, let's get to work. Yes, uh, printing from Turbica. Well, it, and in fact, it's. Uh, I, th I thought when I first started using uh, Turbocad or AutoCAD or any of these programs, I, I thought it's like a really awkward way of having to print something. If you just need something, you end up having to create named views and then uh, making a distinction as where model space is and loading uh, named views into paper space, etc. before you print. And I'm thinking there has to be a better way of uh, actually uh, printing off something uh, and when I again when I first started um, if I people I asked I said no no you have to do the named views and put it into paper space and that's how we print and I'm thinking what seriously can we not print anything from model space and I was told no but of course they were all wrong and that you can actually print from model space so uh, the picture in front or the sketch in front um, that's actually um, it's, it's actually a live project for us. Uh, it's part of a live project, and it's actually done um, in it's in model space. We're looking at it in model space. But before I get too involved here, let me show you something else. Um, this is a drawing practice. So here we are, model space. So now, what happens if I go to print this? So let's have a little look. Control P. Look at the full preview and you see, wow, you've, it's, it's not in the right place, is it? Now what you, what, what you need to know is that if I just open up uh, model space. Well, model space, there is a, it's going, it's going to print from a particular, whatever, whatever is there, it's going to print from a particular space in model space. Uh, in other words, uh, it's not just randomly printing nothing. So let me do it again, control P. Uh, full preview. See, it's in the same location because I haven't moved it. Watch what happens when I move it. I'm going to move it to the left and down. I'm then I'm going to go Control P. Uh, so you see, I'd actually get it in this case. I'd actually get that in the drawing. But so just to so that we understand the exercise, let's let's go let's go through it. So I'm actually printing to PDF here now. Yeah. So PDF writer, print, printing, well it says two pages, uh, it doesn't matter, it's a PDF, I'm not going to print anything. So uh, let's see, I'm going to do it as a test print, replace it, yes, and now if I open up my test print, um, this is what I get. Uh, so the drawing is in fact done over two pages, so it doesn't look very nice because uh, it's not in the right position. I don't really want tons and tons of space around it. So uh, you basically got got in. I, I I mean I've got it into the PDF, but it's not set out right, and that's never going to really work as a solution. So let me try again. Control P. Um, Control P. Full preview. So really what I'd want is I'd want it set up in the center and so on. Well, what happens is um, you're there and this is the, I'm not, you're, you're there at home, you've got your model space, etc. And what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to work out where the center is. So let's assume where the center is, is there. Um, do a control P again, full preview. And it's through trial and error of me moving that uh, sketch around until I got it centered. And then what I did was I created, let me show you what I created. I created, no, that's not that one, that comes later. I created, yes it is that one. I created, 
nice little box, this dotted line box. And from the bot, uh, from the box, I then put in a a text block, um, put in the absolute essentials for uh, a drawing, which was the, the scale bar. And let's see what happens now. So it doesn't matter whether I go up or down or explode, but let's see what happens when I do Control P. Control P. Look at the full preview. Spot on. Spot on. So now I'm going to print directly from model space. And I'm going to call it test print again. I'm going to replace it. Yes. Let's open it up. And let's, that's what I got. It's perfect. Um, perfect uh, PDF print. It's an A3. Um, exactly to scale, 1 to 100, and printed directly from model space. So how did I do it? Well, going back again, uh, the idea was, um, and I, I'm going to demonstrate this now, this box, this little outline, the grey outline, is really important because that's the space. Anything within that space is going to print to the A3. So it's set up using page setup, it's set up for A3, A3 on the size of the paper, A3 and the size of the drawing. Uh, once I've done that, I then found through basically going control P as in print, looking at the preview and if it was off center, I'd move it. And I'm, I'm referring now to this little dotted line. And once I got the dotted line, let me explain even further. The dotted line, uh, you think, what's the size of it? Well, work it out. Now watch what happens when I go control P. Uh, nothing. This dotted line, uh, it looks it looks fine there because, uh, but that dotted line would be bad now if I left it because if I put stuff in this area it's not going to print. So let me just uh, put it back. Anything within this dotted line because it mirrors the dotted line here. I'll show you. There you go, that dotted line is mirrored with the one that I created within model space. So effectively, this is what this is what you could be doing, okay? Uh, you can get something like that, uh, draw a line around it, or well, let's do a box around it, like that. And then we do control P, full preview. Oh, that's my box. So I now know it needs to come down, needs to go down, go left, and it needs to go lower. So doing this wrong. Pardon me. Well, that's not what I was trying to do. So let's try again. Now let's uh, control P preview right needs to come down and go across um, come down and go across so it needs to be there I might as well put this in the center uh, control P full preview Ooh. down and across the other way came a little bit too far the other way. See, I'll be getting close now. I'll be getting closer and closer and then you just fine-tune it. Uh, control P. Haha <laughs> look. See I'm getting I, I'm getting closer and closer. I'm actually getting quite lucky here. Um, don't worry about that. So and you keep doing it and then you do your dotted line and you put in your text box and this is what you end up with. That's my text box. That's my, uh, my text, my, uh, my architect box. And if I want to print anything in model space, instead of creating named views and uh, having to go into paper space, all I have to do is drop it in here. So I'm going to give you an example of how we would do that. So. 
copy. Take this one out. In fact, I'll take all the, the bits out that are there and just space it out properly. There we go. Now, let's see what it looks like if I go to print. Control P. It's spot on, spot on. So, close it, print. And I'm gonna do test print. Yes. And bring this one in here so you can see what happens. Test print. And this is what opens up, which is a um, perfect PDF file of that particular drawing. Um, margins aren't showing, perfect. Um, okay, now, so this is where it gets even more fun. So if we close that, close that. Uh, so effectively, this is my model space. All this area is my model space. So I start off, um, Let's assume I start off on a project and here we are. I work and I create these layout plans for this project uh, based on measured surveys or PDF drawings or whatever. But I create these plans and then uh, uh, let's assume those are my layout plans and then I want uh, some elevation plans. Then I make my elevation plans and they're here. They're going to be in this area and if I need to print anything then I basically all I have to do is pop them in pop them in here so just forget the uh, architect box for a minute so watch control P we'll preview there you go um, print it Test print, replace it. Uh, let's go have a look. Test print. Um, and here we go. Right, so you can see where, let me bring this up, looking perfect. And that's because it's within the dotted uh, rectangle. I close this off now, kill that off. So basically, um, if if I look at, say, uh, you know, I get sent over an AutoCAD drawing, it doesn't matter how complex it is, uh, all the drawings, uh, they're in boxes or sections around it within the model space for any particular project. And then, um, to, in order to print any section, they group it together as appropriate and then pop it into uh, or get, create named views and pop it into paper space, which is you create uh, the, 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 the paper space here and so on. Um, I've got various paper spaces set up there, but back into model space. So that's what they do to print. Uh, you print from the paper space. But what I'm showing you here today is that you don't always have to do that. That if you actually take the time to create a template like such as this one, which is in the center, mark it out so that you're not going to delete it. So effectively, if this was my template, which it, in fact it is one of my templates, uh, let me just show you what I can do here. So get rid of that. Get rid of that. Uh, and get rid of everything. So now when I get a new project, I open up, let me just save that. Uh, save, that's saved up here, A3, blah, blah, blah. Uh, that is a template file. So what happens is I get a new project, I'm doing layout or elevation plans or whatever I'm doing, extension, loft, you name it. Um, I just pull this, I pull this file. Now it's all scale that one equals to 100 which incidentally I need to put the scale bars back in because I I, I got excited and deleted them. But um, yes, the it's, it's all scaled correctly and it's a setup as page setup is A3. So make sure when you do this, to, if you want to create a template, make sure you set up the page uh, for the printer paper A3 and for the drawing size A3. Once you've done that, 
Um, in, within model space, uh, you then the elusive rectangle, play with it. So we do control P again, and we do a full preview. That's exactly how it is. Uh, it's smack bang in the middle. Anything I put within that box, anything I put in, can't do that. Anything I put in there will print. We don't need to do that. Um, so that's about it really. Um, so uh, like I say, create your drawings within model space. If you don't want to go to the trouble of creating the named views or the paper space or um, great then uh, use a template with this in the center and then you know you've got tons of space here to do your drawings and to print something boom pop it in there okay that's about it hope you enjoyed the lesson hope you make good use of uh, yeah, being able to print from model space thank you very much for joining in see you on the next lesson